Good morning. Good morning. It is 9-18, Sunday the 28th of February, 72 degrees outside. We are headed to Old Settlers Park yep. to go ride the bikes, finally. So we're very excited about that. Um, it's an overcast day, but that's probably good because uh, I forgot my jacket. Because uh, it just gets too warm here in the full sun. So we'll take advantage of the overcast day. So we'll see you there. There is the Dell Diamond right there. We have been to a game there several years ago, but we did go. Frisbee Golf, Little Creek, as we head into the park. is working really really well do strap them down just, just as you know you have to strap them in I mean, for safety all right we're ready to go we got the baskets on we got the squishy seats and the bikes and the helmet and we're ready to go well i bought a mount for the gopro and it's not with us so See you along the trail. Well, you know we're in heaven's look, look, look at him shaking his little hiney. Oh my gosh. I'm waddling over to get to you. Oh my goodness, they're feeding him over here. Oh, chasing that one. Elliot, we're gonna come here. Oh my goodness. We are on the trail, and there's the Dell Diamond. So, there's the road we came in. I don't know, maybe we didn't. That's the road? All right. So we've gone 2.15 miles. So like I said, we're just breaking in the bikes, breaking in our rear ends, you know. <laughs> so, of course, Everywhere you go in Austin, there's some beautiful waterfalls or a creek or something beautiful to look at or listen to. Looks like this might have been the old bridge down there, the old car bridge. And uh, it just became too low. So now we have this one and you can see we have a flood gauge. So, all right, we're gonna keep on. It's a pump and now we just went uphill here. Well you probably can't probably can't tell. But it's uphill. <laughs> see those soccer fields are down or up. Anyway, we had to come see the Rockin' River. Rockin' River water park rules. Or the water park. Closed for the season. But you got a water slide there and big pool, big play scape over there. There's no way for me to show you. Um, looks like a fun place. Just noticed up here you can see the tops of the Dell Diamond. That's pretty cool. 
52 minutes, 4.86 miles, 5.5 miles per hour. We kept stopping, but and there's a good peek at the uh, bike rack in the truck. So now we're gonna put the bikes back in the truck. This is a great little park, nice little ride. We kept stopping, I mean, and I didn't stop my watch when we stopped, but out here playing cricket. and straps them in nice and tight and now uh, when we're going long distance we're going to be on the freeway or heading back home he'll strap in the front and the back of the bikes some really nice soccer fields here could be like astroturf or you know fake grass really nice in the store a whole lot but I wanted to show you all oh, those are cute the size of this HEB plus just try and imagine standing here and how enormous this store is it is I've never seen an HEB this big ever and I have been to a lot of HEBs a lot of Kroger's a lot of grocery stores across the country this I think outside of Woodman's is the biggest I think I have ever seen. Look, look, it just it keeps going. We'll have to find out how many square feet this store is. Wow. Now we are gonna go explore the ginormous HEB. Anything super interesting, of course I'll show you. All the appropriate sauces stop. We have Whataburger and Chick-fil-A. I've never seen Chick-fil-A sauce before in the store, so that's really cool. Of course, all of our Whataburger sauces. Here we go, Polynesian sauce and Chick-fil-A sauce. Cool. So we are back in the camper and I'm going to have a little treat. I'm going to have a chocolate covered strawberry and a delicious cup of coffee. I did purchase a different frother for the camper and it's fine. It's not as good as my other one, but it does it does work well. So now I haven't tried it with any kind of uh, coconut milk. I've only tried it with just standard almond milk. So it's done okay. Okay, so it is time for dinner. So we've moved the Blackstone a little farther, closer to the camper and under the awning because it is raining. All right, it's almost ready. Feels pretty good. Uh, on high heat, we want to get these fajitas seared and then uh, flipped. So all I've done is here they are. They've been marinating in uh, three or four tablespoons of olive oil with a couple tablespoons of Flavor God uh, garlic lovers and a couple tablespoons of Flavor God taco and a little bit of pepper. I mean, simply that's it. And this is flank steak. So. Um, and I do like to let my meat sit out and come to as close to room temperature as possible. Um, you do you, you do your own research. Maybe you're not keen on that. Maybe you're not comfortable with that, but that is what we do. So it doesn't, you know, the meat doesn't go from being very cold to super hot. It seizes it up. It tends to, I don't know, it just cooks better for me personally when it's room temperature. All right, so let's get this started. These particular fajitas are from Costco. I do have some from ButcherBox that I really like. Ah, curled under. And I do pour the marinade right on top just to kind of flavor it up a little bit more. I just let these. Oh, you're not, okay. I just let these marinate for, I don't know, half the day, most of the day. There you go, Mr. Fenwick. <laughs> Thank you, sir. 
You're welcome. So, you can't even see my face. Hello! You can see the meat, so that's all that matters. But we're going to sear them on both sides, and then we're going to reduce the heat, close the lid, and let them go uh, until they're cooked to your desired doneness. Um, we like them pretty, pretty done, pretty well done. We're not super keen on, uh, well, I am, but I don't, I don't like it to still be juicing, <laughs> mooing. Yeah. There we go. Well, that's about it. You don't want to sear them too much because then you'll get hard spots on the meat. Some people like that, some people don't. And uh, so, there you go. That's about as seared as we want. So I'm going to turn down the heat just to about medium. About like that. And we're going to close the lid. And let them go. Um, I would say at least 10, 15 minutes. Just come out here and keep checking them. Now I forgot to put the thermometer in the black in the camper so that I could insert it and check check the doneness of the meat. Um, but basically, I just kind of just let it go, 15 minutes or so, and that tends to be pretty good for us. Um, and if it's not, then you can come put it back out on the grill. It's, it's I mean, it's no big deal. The biggest thing is that when you're done cooking. Take it inside, let it rest. Don't cut it immediately. If you cut it immediately, it's gonna juice, all of its juices all over your cutting board. And then your meat will be dry. All right, here you diced on We have some diced onions, some shredded lettuce, and then these are some sides from last night, some pico de gallo. This is queso that we just went and picked up from Dos Salsas. There's some salsa and there's jalapenos. So those are all the sides, and once the once the fajitas are done, I'll slice them up, we'll slice them up, and uh, we'll have some dinner. We did pick up the H-E-B chips. Yummy. Eight, they're from H-E-B, or uh, Mi Tiende? Mi Tiende, is it La Tiende? Mi Tienda. Mi Tienda, it's the uh, H-E-B store, and they make them there, and then they ship them out to all the H-E-Bs across Texas, so. Mm. At least in the Houston area. Right. No, I'm not supposed to eat corn. I'm just going to have a few. Will I regret it later? Absolutely. But YOLO. I can't say YOLO with gluten, but I can with corn. Sort of. There we go. Now I'm going to slice it against the grain. You see the grain is running this way. So I will slice it this way. And we will have fajitas. I'm very ready. There we go. Oof, the wind has picked up. You can see the flags are now blowing in the opposite direction they've been blowing the last few times I filmed them. And it is quite windy. There's Robert. So we're gonna call in a night, but we will see you in the morning. Um, we're gonna go for a bike ride in the morning along Brushy Creek Trail. And um, then it's time to pack up and head home. So. We will see you in just a second for you in the morning. Good morning. It is 8.47 a.m. Monday, March the 1st, 48 degrees outside here in Round Rock, Texas. Siri's gonna go off. Cancel. Um, so we awoke this morning, we woke this morning, we awakened, whatever, this morning to 40 degree temperatures, very high wind, some rain, rolling clouds you can see some interesting clouds actually we had a shift in the wind last night and um i it's my fault i didn't check the weather this morning for this morning we had intentions of riding bikes and getting out and enjoying this morning before we left um but it is far too chilly it doesn't say what the wind is, but it's quite windy. I mean, you could see out there. It's rocking the RV, bumping, there's noises. It's been, it's been interesting. Since we couldn't go bike riding this morning, Rob headed out to Round Rock Donuts, and um, he's gonna take a picture of the storefront for me, but he's gonna pick up some donuts, and I think he's gonna try, I don't know if they have Kalachi Factory here, but we have a coupon for free Kalachi, so. He was going to pick up some of those since today, March 1st, is National Kalachi Day. So um, how it could be National Kalachi Day, considering most of you, if you don't live in Texas, maybe Louisiana, you don't know what a Kalachi is. 
<laughs> I get so many questions about that. I get a lot of comments. What did you say? What was that word? <laughs> Rob's gonna bring home donuts. He's gonna have some donuts and I am going to wait for him and get dressed here and tidy up and do a few things around the RV, make a list of things we need to bring back into the RV, clean the bathrooms, vacuum the carpets, and um, then we will uh, drain and flush the tanks and um, hook up and head out. And uh, there you go. So it makes me so sad. I'm just not ready to go. But you guys, we're going to Dallas next. And we're going to be in Dallas for six days. And uh, it'll be in March. So no idea what the temperatures are going to be like. But a whole new area for us to explore. We're going to be in Dallas a couple of times um, in the coming year. All right. Here they are. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Look at that. Now, apparently they're orange. I don't know why they're orange, but they are. And uh, look at that. Anybody know why they're orange? Put it in the comments. But that was what somebody said to us. They were like, you need to be prepared. They're orange. But these came recommended. Oh, my gosh. They smell so good. Came recommended by friends. We did not get the Texas one. I mean, it's just Rob. So he was like, I don't need a massive Texas donut. But there you go. I'm very jealous. We looked for gluten-free donuts, but anybody who has gluten-free donuts, they're not yeast-raised donuts. They're always cake donuts. Somebody make a yeast-raised fried traditional donut so that people like me can have it. Grain-free, that probably would never happen because it wouldn't be fluffy and light. There's just no fluffy light other than maybe coconut flour donuts. I don't know, but there you go. Somebody out there make a yeast-raised gluten-free donut. All right, just so all of you can sit there and have your mouth water. Oh, so he chooses the cake donut. No, there you go. That's the good one. You understand I can't kiss my husband for like a few hours afterwards because I don't want gluten. Oh, my God. That's very good. Is it better than Chipley's? Probably very close. Very close, yeah. So if you don't live in Houston or I don't know where Shipley stops, I don't know, but Shipley's is what we grew up on here in Texas, in Houston, and they have beyond delicious donuts. I know there are those in the Apple. Krispy Kreme camp or there's another one, Duncan camp. You're either Krispy Kreme, Duncan, but down here in Texas, we're all about the Shipley's. Well, it seems every single time we go to hook up the camper to go home, this is what happens. It is a heavy rain, so we have requested a late checkout. Okay, the totes were out. Rob just ran outside and threw, threw everything back in the underbelly. Oh my goodness, because this is, it's like raining hard. It's not just a light rain. So we've requested a late checkout and uh, we are hoping to be out of here in about an hour. We'll see with soaking wet slides. So it's kind of a pain because yeah, it's difficult to get these slides dry before we push them in. So, <coughs> excuse me, we'll just have to wait and see. Whew. Okay, well, we're all hooked up back there. You see the bikes, the camper. It is so cold. It's only 46 outside, so it's not super cold, but it's super windy and it's wet. Oh my goodness. So what we did was we raised the, what's that thing called? Not the toe hit. Tongue, tongue jack. Tongue jack. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we raised the tongue jack um, about five, six inches to get the camper to lean so the slides would drain. And then when we pull them in, we have like this rubber gasket thing that kind of sweeps the slides. That's why you have to make sure you sweep your slides off beforehand because you can damage that gasket. Um, but it does push the water off nicely and we got a lot of it off by leaning the slides. You're not really supposed to do that with your slides open. Um, but it, you know, we read that doing it occasionally isn't that big of a deal. So that's what we did. So now we are headed to the office to let them know we're leaving and heading home in the wet rain. We are actually chasing the rain. So, but, uh, we had to wait. It was pouring rain. I'd say we probably got an inch of rain. Yeah. I mean, at least so if, yeah, if not more. So here we go. There she is. I always feel like I forgot something, like I forgot to tie something up, like I forgot to put something away. I watched the bridge. In 800 feet, turn right onto yeah. Benelli Drive. 
and then I opened the fridge afterwards and I moved everything around to make sure everything was secure because I've made that mistake where I haven't rearranged the fridge and things. <laughs> that was no fun. All right.